Hello everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Polity Quick Revision Series. So in this video, we'll talk about the veto power of the president. Here we'll take a look at the different vetoes available to the president, such as your absolute veto, suspensive veto, pocket veto, etc., and many more such interesting things. So without any further delay, let's get started. What happens is that, let us say there is a bill. The options the president is going to have is that first thing, you can give assent. And what would this mean? This means you're sort of accepting the bill and it becomes an act, right? That's what happens, right? So how does the bill become an act? The bill goes to the parliament. It is going to be debated by both houses and both the houses will pass depending upon what kind of bill it is. Okay. And then if both the houses are going to pass without any issues, then it goes to the president. The president can give his assent to the bill. Sometimes the bill, sorry, the president can withhold Ascent. Okay, withholding ascent means what? That means he does not want to sort of approve this. He or she, depending upon who is the president. And the third option here is that you can even, or he can, or she can return the bill. It's like saying, guys, I see the bill. I see that both of you, both of your houses have sort of approved this, but uh, please reconsider this. Dear Parliament, please reconsider this, right? But however, the Parliament decides to go through the bills again, not decides to go through, they will go through the bills again. And then they decide that, no, we still want it the way we have framed it and the way we have accepted it and the way we have accepted it. What would happen in that case? Will the bill be accepted? Will the president, does the president have to give his assent or can the president yes. still return it? President has to, has to give his assent. Okay, so there is very good clarity by you guys. Okay, so take a look at this, okay? So, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, both of them passed this. Okay, and they gave it to the president. The president does what? Does not want to accept it. So he sends this back to these guys. And if it comes again, next step, he has to accept. So he has to accept. So if the bill is passed again by the parliament with or without amendments and again present, presented to the president, the president must give his assent to the bill. So this is an important sort of an aspect. Okay, so this is what happens with generally with bills, right? Now we'll take a look at the, the, the kind of terms that we talk about in terms of veto powers. First of all, why do you need veto? See, this is a very special privilege we are saying. But why do we need it? We need the veto power to ensure that, you know, there is no hasty sort of, a, a, you know, or ill-considered legislation. Okay, and to ensure that no unconstitutional legislation against the principles of the constitution, constitutional legislation. Generally, the step will also be, so for instance, let us say that the lower house, the Lok Sabha passes something, it goes to the Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha is supposed to be the elders, the house of elders, right? So they are supposed to sort of, you know, reason through this a little more and they will prevent the hasty sort of uh, passing of any, you know, uh, ill-considered legislation, but however, if that passes even the Rajya Sabha, what would happen is that then it can go to the president. The president has one more chance to sort of stop this. See, generally what happens is uh, when there are some sort of crisis that take place, when there are some sort of, you know, uh, emergency sort of uh, urgency sort of situation, right? Uh, something really bad has taken place. The public mood will be very different. And when the public mood is very different, sometimes the politicians want to be on the side of the public. Okay. In fact, even if the public may not be reasonable at that point. So uh, are you guys aware that I think a year to a couple of years ago, there was this uh, murder case. Sorry, uh, I think it was Dr. Priyanka Reddy. I believe she was a veterinarian. And uh, in the outskirts of Hyderabad, Shamsabad area or something like that, uh, she was found the very next day uh, by a milkman and uh, by a milkman uh, and you know he found a charred body completely burnt body and eventually they found out that okay there were like you know some four lorry uh, 
lorry drivers, cleaner, and I, I think like one or two friends, something like that. Four people who were found to be responsible for this sort of an event. Are, are you guys aware of this incident? Some of you are aware of this incident. Okay, it it was uh, um, it was all over the news. It was all over the channels. It was uh, you know. Okay, Naveen also. Uh, sorry, uh, Supriya. Yeah, so Supriya knows it. Supriya, your messages are coming as a direct message. In case you want to just send it to everybody, that will be uh, so you can participate along with the class. So yeah, so in that incident, I remember uh, you know some people saying that you know these guys are going to be sort of um, you know there's going to be like some custodial death or there's going to be some encounter death. And within two three days of me hearing this, that did happen. Okay, that did happen right and the police the head of the police had to i think there was like a committee framed but if you remember the next day morning the next morning there were you know the school buses going there were like you know trucks whatever it is okay buses uh bikes everybody was sort of clapping uh, for the police for having done this job maybe for the politicians and whatnot so when you have this sort of uh the, this uh, this frenzy right something bad has happened sometimes you might make some sort of wrong moves Similarly, if there are some such wrong moves, uh, Delhi crime, if you guys watch that, uh, I think there's a documentary on uh, uh, Netflix. I think you guys must have been very young when that, uh, that rape of Nirbhaya episode ha had taken place, right? That was again another incident. So if on that particular day, if we decide that, um, do you guys know about this Delhi crime incident? Or should I tell you in like 30 seconds what happened? Nirbhaya. Okay, if you guys haven't watched it, uh, it is okay. I mean, this is not the time to watch it, but in case you have your Netflix or something like that and you want to watch it, you can probably watch it. But the point is, uh, there was, I think, a, a young girl, maybe like early 20s, and then, you know, she was with her friend, a uh, guy friend, and uh, they were, you know, out late in the night. And I don't know how late, I don't think it was that late. And they had got, gotten into a particular bus. So the bus driver, the bus cleaner, I'm, 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 I'm forgetting the details, okay? It's sort of hazy in the details. But uh, they were taken to a particular place. The girl was raped. Uh, and, uh, you know, there was some, it was sort of a gory death for her, okay? She did not die immediately. But, uh, you know, she had to be taken to hospital. And they found out that, you know, it, it was, you know, they had inserted like, you know, uh, iron rods into her private parts. It was just horrible, right? At that particular point, if you say, and one of the, one of those uh, uh, culprits, or the, uh, he was actually under the age of 18. Okay, so that comes under juvenile. So if you say, no, even if you're juvenile, okay, if you're part of any such thing, we will have death penalty for you, right? Now, that is because of one incident, right? That is because of one incident. Juvenile, anywhere in the world, they have different sort of laws. Okay, it's called juvie in the West, right? In juvie, what generally happens and what is supposed to happen? Just after a frenzy, we tend to take we may take wrong moves. So during that period, that's why you have a uh, another house that can debate it, okay? That can possibly say that, no, 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 it cannot be, you know, um, because in India, what do we have? We have death penalty, but it is, what is, when do we use death penalty? So uh, you will see a term that is generally used, rarest of the rarest or something like that. Rarest of the rare case. Okay, rarest of the rare case. So meaning this also should be consistent and uniform for everybody. Meaning, let us say the Delhi... All right, guys. So that brings us to the close of our video. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope that you found the video to be useful. If you did, please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the very next video.